Is this James Butler? Yes, it is. Can I ask you what you're calling about? This is James Butler. Yes, it is James Butler. You said that twice. What you want? No, this is James Butler. You are James Butler? Yeah. But you can't be James Butler because I'm James Butler. No, I'm your son. What's up guys, um, my name is James Butler and this is my channel obviously and today I have a video for you guys um, that is a hard one. I thought that coming out on YouTube was definitely going to be the hardest video that I've ever done in my life and then I did the My Life Story video and that was even harder. <laughs> um, and now I'm doing this video and this is even harder. I'm at a point in my life where I'm 18 years old, I'm an adult. And I'm in a place of realizing things. And one of those things is forgiveness creates a pathway for positivity. Because I feel like if you live in a negative, resentment-filled, hateful state all the time for people that have hurt you in your life, you're not going to do anything but hurt other people until you're healed by the wounds from people that have hurt you. And I was watching something the other day that really inspired me to make this video. I hope this video inspires you to maybe reach out to a parent or a loved one that has maybe hurt you in your life. Um, my father and I do not have a relationship. He was an alcoholic, homeless, and abusive with me. Um, if you want the backstory of our relationship, I think you should go watch my life story video. I'll put it the first link in the description box below and it talks about my whole entire life. This will be my first time talking to my dad in like 10 years. So. I'm so nervous. Hi, is James Butler there? Yes, he is. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Darling, this for you. Uh, this for you. Somebody asked for James Butler. Hello. Hello? Yeah. Is this James Butler? Yes, it is. Can I ask you what you're calling about? This is James Butler. Yes, it is James Butler. You said that twice. What you want? No, this is James Butler. You are James Butler. Yeah. But you can't be James Butler because I'm James Butler. No, I'm your son. Huh? Oh my god, what's up, man? <coughs> That's your son? Yeah. Oh! Hi, James Butler. <coughs> How are you? What's wrong? How's it going? Huh? How's it going? I'm so glad to hear from you, man. I miss you. I miss you too, man. I'm so. Hey, a fan? I'm so proud of you, man. Thank you. I love you. I love you so much, man. I'm so, I'm so uh, freaking proud of you. You don't know, man. Thank you so much. How are things going for you there, Cali? Um, they're going really, really well. I'm just super busy working out here, so. Yeah, once and once he told, he told me you, man. Seriously, man. I, Thank you so much for calling me, man. Of course. I think about I think about you you every I mean I'm not saying it's just a say because it's cliche or whatever, but I do I think about you every day. You you know, what's going on with you and stuff like that because I know you know, your is you know, is uh it's pretty tough. Mhm. Mm you know, and um uh, and I'm proud of you, man, because you got, I mean, you, you just, man, knew what you wanted to do, man, and, and, and you're doing it. That's good to hear. And I'm so, I'm so, um, proud of you, man, and I brag about you, and, um, you know, and I love you to death, man. I love you, too. And I'm just sorry that, uh, you know, we had this little good and whatnot. I just hope we can maintain and stay in contact, man, because... You know, you're my son, man. I love you to death, man. Yeah. Christ, man. I'm very proud. I love you, too. I love you, too, man. I just wanted to call you because I feel like I'm an adult now and I can, like, make decisions for myself and you can't really let go and grow in life if you have so much, like, resentment in your heart. And I just... Yeah. I'm at a time in my life where I just want to forgive and move on and talk about things because they still need to be talked about but at the same time move on and grow and because I already lost one of my parents and I don't 
want to lose another one without having a relationship with them. Right, that's fantastic. Right, I, I, I know, I know, um, I took you through some difficult times and, um, can't never do something you can't, um, uh, have to do over. What not, and, um, I'm sorry for those times and what not, but I ain't trying to find no excuses and what not, you know, I wasn't ever right. But I never stopped loving you. Freaking proud of you, man, because you could have went in a whole lot of different directions because I know been through a lot. Yeah, and I appreciate that because it's, I, it's at this point it's not about what happened, it's about where we're going. So, but man, let me tell you something, James. You have beat the odds, man. You have beat the odds, man. I'm so damn proud of you. You're young, you're black. You know, you got so much, you know, social stuff going on against you. And your mom had her problems, your dad had his problems. But you still maintain, you didn't turn to no cracky, you didn't turn to no thug, or, you know, just a worthless individual. You, you decided what you want to do, young in life, and you pursue your dream, and you live in your dream. Yeah. You know, the sky, the sky is the limits for you right now. I'm so, I'm so awesomely proud of you guys. You know, I, you know, words can't even really express it. Yeah. You know? And I think, I think that I did turn out well, because even though life has been hard, I feel like if life was easy, I wouldn't have been as strong as I would, and as strong as I am, and I couldn't live out here, you know, because it's hard living out here, but I have nothing is harder than what I've gone through in the past, you know, so I also thank you, because even though it was rough, you still made me a strong person. Well, hey, I know, I, I know, I know you, 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 you strong, you know, and, uh, and I always knew that you were special. Mm -hmm. I always, I always knew that even when you was a little kid, I mm -hmm. always knew you were special, and talented, and gifted, mm -hmm. and whatnot. <laughs> you know, and uh, you blossom as as, as 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 a young man mm -hmm. and as an adult and whatnot. I mean, it's just awesome to me. Yeah, thank you. And uh, I, I just got my, I just got myself relatively together. Got off of that alcohol. And uh, staying up here with Mama now. I got a job coming up in a uh, couple weeks. That's good. I'm <laughs> glad you called him. Yeah, that, that's a blessing. You made his day. No, that's good. Mm -hmm. you made my day too. But it's like years since I heard from you. Yeah, it's like eight, nine years. Okay, I love you so much. I love you too. All right. I'll All right. Call okay, bye bye. I mean, don't let this be a one time shot. No, I just told Aunt, Aunt Grandma I'm gonna try to keep in touch. I love you too, man. Take care. Bye bye. <sighs> there are so many emotions <laughs> that I'm feeling right now, and I think one of the biggest emotions that I'm feeling is a sense of release because. The fucking lawnmower in the background is pissing me the fuck off. When he first said, I love you, I said, I love you too, like, yikes. There was still that wall of resentment and hate. And then we talked more, and he apologized, and told me he understands, but doesn't have any excuses for the shit that he's put me through. The abuse, the alcohol, the this, the that. But he's still proud of me. <laughs> And he follows me, and he's wanted to talk to me. And that just opened the doors of all that resentment. And I felt like I walked through. And by the end of the phone call, I felt like I loved my dad again. He has tried, and he is trying to get his life back. A hint of thought for you that if there's anyone in your life that has done you wrong, treated you wrong, put negativity into it. Even though it's hard, it, like it took me like nine or 10 years to ever speak to him and hear why he did what he did. There's usually a reason and give the person the chance to because my dad is older and if he ever died without ever being able to speak to me or say all the things that he said today, I would feel so horrible. So I think there's so much shit going on in the world right now, but the only thing that we need right now is love. No one needs any kind of hate in their heart right now. So I encourage you, if it's a friend, 
a family member. Go out and rekindle that love.